Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my squad builder series and in this episode we are going to feature another hybrid squad because I love them hybrids and um, this one will be around the uh, right winger from Catania in the Serie A called Alejandro Gomez. Uh, now he was suggested in the comment section on uh, you know one of my previous squad builders and uh, that's why I wanted to build a hybrid around him so as you can see on the screen the hybrid will be in the 4-3-2-1 formation and it will be a hybrid between the Serie A and the Liga Portuguesa with two Liga do Brazil players in that but you could just uh, have gotten any Brazilian in that spot so uh, let's get into the squad now um, on goal we're gonna have the inform Fabio now he is one of them too uh, Brazilians which I just um, told you guys about and basically I needed a Brazilian keeper and I already tried out the inform Helton and Neto for example so this time I switched it up and I used the inform Fabio now uh, he actually has some really good stats because he has 81 diving 83 handling 72 kicking 86 reefling 73 speed which makes him uh, I think the fastest keeper in the game and uh, also 85 positioning now he's a pretty decent goalkeeper I must say he makes some really good saves and um, He's just an all-around pretty, pretty good goalkeeper. Then moving on to the uh, first center back here now. Uh, we're going to have Lucio. Now, I um, had to get his transfer card because of the chemistry. But uh, I don't think you can get his into Milan card. Because then there's one player in the squad who won't get 9 cam. So um, that's why I went with this. He has 76 pace, which I must say feels a bit slow, to be honest. Uh, he gets uh, caught out on pace uh, quite a bit. But... Uh, you know, apart from that, he is an absolute tank at the back. Cause he has uh, 85 defending, 83 heading, and he's really, really strong. Uh, you know, he's also pretty good in the air. He's not that tall, I believe. Uh, now he's six foot two. That is uh, decent, I would say. But uh, you know, we have uh, another center back here, and that's going to be Duglau. And um, he's a bit tall, I believe. He's six foot four, and he also wins more in the air. To be honest, he has uh, 70 pace. But he actually feels quicker than Lucio, to be honest. Uh, he also has 75 defending and 81 heading. So, uh, you know, they pair up really, really well. They're, they uh, are both really strong. And uh, especially Duglau. But also Lucio get uh, a few goals from corners if they're uh, attacking. So, you know, that's always pretty good. Then moving on to the right back now. Uh, we're going to have Cicinho. Now, uh... I pretty much needed any right back for this squad and I uh, wanted to, to use Cicinho because he has 90 pace and he has 4 star skills and that's just everything you need in a fullback. He also has a brilliant, brilliant long shot and he is the second Liga do Brazil player in this squad. I uh, could also went with this uh, Sevilla version because that's where he transferred to but uh, you know I just looked on the market and uh, I found this one was a bit cheaper than his Sevilla card so that's why I went with this. Moving on to the left back now, um, we're going to have uh, team of the season, Nigerian left back from Brog. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, uh, you know, I just can't. But he has some really good stats because he has 80 pace, which is decent. But he also has 75 uh, defending, 77 heading, but also 74 passing, so he can also go forward. Uh, his long shot is not as good as Sassini's, uh, I must say. But, you know, he's still a pretty decent player. Then moving on to the first and mid now, we're going to have uh, Arturo Vidal. Uh, he is the uh, holding mid because he's usually a CDM. There's also an inform card for vi uh, of him, but he was like 50,000 coins, and I didn't want to spend that on him just because I didn't have them, to be honest. Uh, he has uh, some consistent stats, like everything is around the 80s, and he plays really, 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 really well. He uh, holds down the field pretty good. He also has three star skills, so he can do some roulettes with him on the midfield, but you know, that's not the main purpose why he's in the squad. Then moving on to the second sediment now, we're going to have uh, Fernandez, his inform. Um, he's usually a cam, so I, uh, you know, he's more of an attacking midfielder, but he has 85 shot. You know, he's a decent, decent long shot, I must say that. Also a good finesse shot. 77 pace, which is decent for a midfielder, you know, it's uh, decent enough to go forward. And, uh, you know, you don't need that much pace on the midfield, to be honest. But it's always nice to have uh, some pace. But he also has 86 dribbling, uh, which is not really... Um, like he has good ball control but unfortunately he doesn't have four star skills he only has three uh but he also yeah no he's just a good player that's pretty much it uh to uh, support the attack then moving on to the final center mid now we're gonna have Barreto. now this guy is usually a center forward but um i actually needed a a serie a center midfielder and um a friend of mine 
he suggested that I should use Barreto because he has full star skills, 82 pace, which is uh, really, really good. But And he has an amazing long shot, so uh, that's why I went ahead and used him. And I, I must say, guys, he has a cracker of a shot on him. Uh, that He is an absolute beast of a shot. So... Um, yeah, he's also a uh, attacking midfielder, just like Fernandez. But uh, you know, Fidel is there to uh, do the defensive side of the uh, midfield. So that is, uh, you know, they work together really, really well. Moving on to the right winger now. Uh, that's going to be Alejandro Gomez, as I already uh, mentioned at the beginning of this video. Uh, he has 83 pace, 85 dribbling. Uh, he has four star skills, four star weak foot. Uh, he is right footed, I believe. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, but you know, you you. You ha hardly notice that because you can just do like uh, weak foot finesse because he has full star weak foot. So you can just cut inside finesse to far post because that's so overpowered in FIFA and everyone knows that. But um, the only downfall to this guy is his strength probably. You know, he's tiny. He doesn't win a lot in the air. But, uh, you know, he's just a... Um, a small player, a good dribbler, so uh, he's a pretty good player, I must say that. I uh, I can understand why people suggested him in the comment section below. Then moving on to the left winger now, we're going to have Diego Capel. Um, he is a uh, Spanish left winger who plays for Sporting, I believe. He links up with Fernandez, he has that green link right there. Now he is pretty much the same player as uh, Alejandro Gomez. Uh, he has 86 pace, 83 dribbling, full star skills, full star weak foot. This guy is left footed, so uh, you could also cut inside with his uh, finesse. With his weak foot finesse, but um, I must say his fin weak foot finesses are not as great as Alejandro Gomez, but he's still a pretty decent player. Um, he does feel a bit sluggish from time to time, though. If you don't know what I mean by that, you know, his passing can be off sometimes, uh, so uh, that's never good. But, uh, you know, he's still um, decent enough to keep him in the squad. Then moving on to the final player of the squad. Now we're going to have Bojan, or Bojan. I'm just going to call him Bojan for now. Uh, 85 pace, 86 dribbling. Um, four star skills, four star weak foot, I believe. You know, the attack just, uh, they're pretty much all the same players. They're all really, really small. Like Diego Capel's 5 foot 8, Bojan is 5 7, and Gomez is 5 foot 5. So they don't win a lot in the air. So, you know, you can't uh, spam in crosses, although it's, uh, you know, it's a bit sweaty on FIFA. But it doesn't work with this squad, to be honest. Because you don't have a real target man up front. But you do have uh, three uh, tiny players with good ball control. Uh, good skills. You know, they can all do Ronaldo chops. They can all do, like, fake, uh, dra uh, what is it? The ball roll fake and such. And uh, all roulettes. Because that are the main skills which uh, I probably use. Because they're the most effective. But, uh, yeah, it's pr still a, pr a pretty decent squad overall. I really enjoyed using it. And I highly suggest you uh, go use it as well. Now, there are, of course, a few plays you can change up. Because you can uh, get a different center mid instead of Barreto if you don't like him. Or you just want uh, to get the rating higher or something. I could also go for a different keeper and a different right back. So, uh, that are just the, the, the variables in the squad, I guess you could say. And... Um, yeah, guys, so uh, this has been the end of the video. Uh, if you could do me a favor and leave in the comment section below what players you want to see in a next hybrid. Because uh, I, I will look at the comments and I will pick players from the comments just as I did with Alejandro Gomez. And, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So uh, please uh, li leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for future episodes of the Squad Builder series. But also for uh, Road to Glory or Trading series. And, um, yeah, guys, that's been it. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. So peace.